I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice decision making through the Charleston. This is the pre-game hand development accelerator. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls, and then I'm going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and I will create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a couple of jokers, flower, red dragon, one, five, seven in cracks, two, three, four, five, six in dots, and then a one bam and a three bam. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would probably play either little odds or consecutive run two through five. One thing that I look for when I have a spread like this, I call this a wide spread, no multiples. So we have all singles, that's a wide spread. I look for a range for consecutive run in this case, but I also look for like numbers because that's gonna tell me how I can quickly gather most of my tiles. So for example, we have two threes and two fives. That's why I think like numbers is possible, but also two, three, four, five. Or we could do three, four, five, six. And with those ranges, they both use threes and fives. So the seven would go, the red dragon would go, and these would all be keepers. We need another tile to pass though. I probably would let, we have a one five. I probably would let the one crack go. That's a little bit risky, but we have two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, really in four number range is ideal when you're looking at one suit, if we don't have tiles for the first hand. So I think I would make that better, pass the six and keep the one. So we could play little odds or maybe two, three, four, five, with or without the flower. So this is how I would start. And I wouldn't pick a hand. We're gonna gather. So we're gonna pass these three We've got a five bam, here's a two bam, and a one dot. All keepers, one through five. So now we have to whittle, because we can't keep all these tiles, we have to pass across. So we have one through five, and one three five, a lot of one three five in here. This one crack, I'm thinking, can go one through five in dots. The flower, not sure yet, but I don't pass flowers typically. We have one, three, three, five, one, three, three, five, two, three, two, three. We can't keep it all. With this flower, I think what I would do is, I think I would keep two, three, two, three. It's not gonna work though, because we've got like numbers. That's almost as risky as passing a pair. I wouldn't do that. 
So I would pass, oops, wrong one, this one. We have one five, we need another tile. So we have one through five, I don't pass flowers. We have two, three, two, three. I think we have to let one of these go, maybe the two. Otherwise, if we pass one, three, five like that, that would be pretty risky. So I'd say maybe those would be discards and we focus on one suit. So let's pass these three. Oh my goodness, pair of fours. That's our first multiple. So we reassess completely, target the multiple. With a four bam, four bam, we could do three, four, three, four. We could do one, two, three, four, five. We're going to the right. We have a few hands in here. We're focused on the four bam. I think what I would do is pass those three. No keepers, really. We did get a one and a two, but we're focused on the four, the four bam. So let's pass these three and keep going. That's the second left. We have a keeper. We're going across. We have one, two, three, four, five, no gaps. I would pass these three. No keepers. I'd break up the sevens. This is last right. We got a keeper. And we have three tiles for the optional. Oh my gosh, look what we got. A pair of ones and the four. But I would say this is a fantastic result. Single pair, pung, kong, kong. We just need one good pick and we'll be set. We could Kong both of these. We just need a little help right here. That was fantastic. And we have Joker bait. I would hold that for a while and discard those. If you want to know more about Joker bait, look for a link in the video description below for demonstrations. And if you would have done something differently here, write pull one and let me know how you would have handled these tiles. We have a joker flower green dragon two three five six in cracks three four five in dots two five nine in bams if these were your tiles what would you focus on and what would be your first pass if these were my tiles I would play consecutive run. I see that we have like numbers with twos, threes, and fives. So those would be the tiles I'd keep. Two, three, five of some kind. And that leaves those as discards. Two, three, five, two, three, four, five. We have a four. So that's how I would start. Let's pass these three. One, four, four. Wow. Okay. I hope nobody would ever pass something like that. We have one through five, pair four, three, four, three, four, four, five, four, five. We can't keep it all. Let's pass those two. And I would give up on one of these dots, probably the three, because I don't want to pass like numbers. So we have here four, five, four, five, or one through five. 
Or I suppose we could do two, three, four, or three, four, five flower. We got a five, another multiple. Those would be discards. So we have four, five, four, five, one through five. I don't pass flowers usually. I think I would focus on two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five flower. Since I don't pass flowers, we should let that go. We got a keeper. We did get a four. We let the other one go, but that's okay. Look, one, two, three, four, five, three multiples. Here's a dragon. Maybe we could do the concealed hand. We're going across though. We have to pass. I would let the dragon go. Keeper. We did get a dragon, but look at this. Two, three, four, five, all multiples. We're going to the right. We have one weakness. We could pung here, pung here, and we could even Kong the three. Because we're so close, I'm tempted to pass that flower. The further you are with hand development, the more risks you can take. Let's do it and see what happens. We didn't get a keeper. We do have a six and a flower. I think I would pass two and not risk another flower. That was a bit cringy. So we're doing two. No keepers. Three discards and a hand with no gaps. I think that was awesome. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below. And if you cringed when I passed that flower, write hashtag cringe. That was pretty cringy. I don't know if I like doing that. It's really risky, but this is such a great start. Would you have passed that flower? Thinking that maybe you could get another keeper and have only two discards? We have a joker, pair of flowers, one of each dragon, east and west, seven, nine in bams, four, seven in dots, one, three in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would definitely play something with flowers. We have a widespread with the rest of our tiles, so I look for like numbers, because then that would be a good starting point. Like right here, we have two sevens. We could maybe do like numbers with sevens and dragons. I think I would break up the wins, probably keep the nine. And I think that's where I would start. Pass one four west. Focus on number tiles, white, dragon, threes. I would switch from sevens to threes because maybe we could play a year hand. So let's break out the sevens so we're not stuck with like numbers in a pass. What we're looking for in here is a three, is year tiles probably. We did pick up a pair of nines. Okay, so now we have nine bam, nine dot, white dragon. 
pear flowers. Let's see. Oh, well, I think I would stick with it. If we can get a two, we could play a year hand and leverage that white dragon. So let's break up the nine. Well, look at that. Wow. Twos. Nice. Your hand. Two, three. Two, three dragon with flowers. Let's pass these three. We have two, three and dots. We want dots, but we could maybe keep that as an option. Pass these three. Another two. We're going to the right so we can pass blind. Because if we get a three crack, we can let those go. We didn't get it, but we can maybe do two in the optional. I don't think we'll get anything out of here, but let's see. Oh, interesting. Oh my gosh, we got it. Look. <laughs> there, your tiles. These would go. Okay, so this would be an option. We just need a little help with the dragons for a year hand. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, right? Pull three in the comment section below. Part of me is wondering if we should keep these because maybe we could play the big year hand. That would be a long shot though because we have no bams and we'd have to throw away a joker. I'd just keep those as an option. Two, three year hand. You've got to focus on the strength of the hand. Organize your tiles in some fashion and then look for the strength of the hand. If you have multiple, start there. Using as many tiles as you can, choose a category that uses most of your tiles, supporting the multiple, and then gather. If you don't have a multiple, choose the predominant pattern, which will match one of the categories on the card. During the Charleston, if a multiple forms, target the multiple, reassess, and find a category that uses most of your tiles for that newly developed multiple. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.